Soundcheck. Mm -mm -mm. channel today i got another haul to share with y'all but this time it is with shein and this is the first time i've ever gotten clothes from shein so these are my first impressions so far just by looking at the items from the bags i would say they're really cute i'm just really excited because some of the stuff that i got is more suitable for the springtime summer weather coming up shout out to shein for sending me these items and before we even get into the haul of course i'm going to share my promo code with y'all it'll be up here on this screen and all the links as well as sizes for the products I mentioned in this video will be in the description box down below. With that being said, let's just get into the haul. Okay, let me just set the ground right quick. I was gonna have this as like a sit down-ish type haul that I normally do, but instead I'm just gonna do a talk through haul as I try clothes on because I'm in that mood today for some reason. Starting with the first fit or items that I got will be with this top. First of all, I gotta lower this because y'all know I'm short. Yeah, so we got this top and it's another camisole tie at the back type top. So I just had it tied right here. And it's really flexible too, actually. It's not too constrictive. I thought because of the fact that it was pretty flexible, it wasn't gonna fit very well because your girl got a smaller bust. But it actually looks really nice, if I may say so myself. I believe I got a size small. Here's a little up close. And I got this in a mocha chocolate color and I really like it because it is a summer spring type top but it's still sticking with the neutrals that I love. And I paired it with these pants. Well not intentionally it's just they're both brown so I was like I, I only got two pairs of pants. And these are the TikTok pants actually that everybody was raving about. And if I'm being honest the only thing I don't like is the front because one, I didn't realize how high-waisted it was going to be because sometimes I get high-waisted stuff and it's like pretty forgiving for my torso size, but this one is pretty high-waisted. The front is a little bit loose, but the back part, I would say, fits pretty good. Might have been able to get away with an extra small, but I just didn't want it to be too tight on my waist or my hips. So, the small is what I went with, and oh my gosh, y'all. So they're flared bottom, I believe they're called flared bottom, and they're not even that long. They're kind of the perfect length for my height because they're touching the floor a little bit, but once I put on shoes or whatever I'm wearing, it's really not that bad. Y'all see how it's touching the floor, yeah, but it's really not that bad. Her. But yeah, as far as that goes, I think that's the only con that I had for these pants was just the front. Probably if I had a little bit bigger hips, it'd fill out a lot better. So give me a couple months to get them side hips going and then we'll come back to them. That is the first outfit. I'm going to change tops and we'll go into the next one. All right, not even going cap to y'all. I barely ate today. I'm low-key about to pass out. So if my energy is just not where it normally is, that's why. But I'm going to try and keep it upbeat. So let's keep it going. We got this summer tank acid wash type style and i actually thought it was going to be ribbed it's kind of an illusion rib like they just printed it or like the rib is just very very subtle and it's not as thick as a normal ribbed tank but here's what it looks like up close of course it's cropped and it kind of has that lettuce cut at the bottom here's what it looks like and I honestly just love basic cropped tanks or cropped tops, period, because that's basically all I wear when I go out. Summer, winter, fall, spring. 
all seasons. Yeah, I'm gonna be wearing this a lot, y'all. Probably gonna see it in some videos. And I like the circle cut right here, even though I don't have the cleavage for it. So, you know, we could just pretend. And I paired it with these pants that also had a lot of good reviews on the website. And I'm sure people have talked about it on TikTok. But I've never worn pants like this before. They're a little bit long, I will say that. It's kind of one of those where it just sits at your waist and it just flows, if that makes any sense. Let me show y'all. They're very spacious, which I love because I can breathe. So if I were to wear these on a hella hot day, I probably wouldn't wear them on a hella hot day. But if I did, there's airflow coming through this rip right here. And since it's wide legged at the bottom or just looser, there's going to be a lot of airflow coming through. Y'all see how it's kind of touching the floor? But again, if I wear some shoes or whatever, it probably wouldn't be that bad. So I'm not really tripping. I'm really digging them. I am not one to buy loose pants. I took the step of going from skinny jeans to boyfriend fit jeans and being more comfortable with jeans not hugging my legs and my hips. We're gonna try something new. I told myself for this haul, I'm gonna get all this stuff that I see people wear, but I don't have, and I just wanna try it out. But these are really good and they're affordable, so. Highly recommend, love these jeans. Okay, this next top, I actually don't even really know how to style it. Like, should I be putting it off the shoulder? I don't know, but I'm kind of looking like a balloon right now. It looked really cute in the pictures and what other people wear it. Boom, okay, I got it. Okay, I guess, no, it looks a lot better like that, actually. I think I just don't like it with these pants, if I'm being for real. Cause then it's like double baggy and I'm just not really sure how I feel about that. Here's this flannel top, and before I tried it on, I actually looked at the tag this time, and this is an extra small. A lot of people were saying it was pretty oversized fit, and I didn't want to be drowning in it if I got a small. The sleeves are a little long, but I rolled it up like twice, and then it probably would be fine if I just buttoned it. But it is a type of top where it doesn't have a bottom, it kind of intertwines, so you're not going to have it just sitting in the front, it's always going to be up a little bit. And I know I said this was going to be spring, summer type haul, but I literally love flannels, and this one is really cute, and I don't have a black and white one, had to get this. This will be good for those nights where it's like a little cold outside, but it's still kind of warm. The back is just normal like flap down flannel, but it's not super long, but it'll probably cover your butt just a little bit. Here's what the wingspan <laughs> looks like. I'm digging it. I don't know if y'all digging it, but I'm digging it, period. All right, so we finna move into the next top, and this top is definitely appropriate for warm weather, and it's hella cute. I've always wanted one of them, so I'm gonna go put that on, and I'm also gonna show y'all different ways to wear it. Okay, this top is so cute. This is one of the many, many ways you can style this top, but I just basically put them together and crossed it at the neckline and then tied it in the back. So that's what that looks like. I don't know if I did a very good job of doing that because I was trying to put it up right quick. And I got it in green because I feel like I need to branch out with my colors. That's what I got to say about that. You cannot tell me this ain't cute though. If you do have have a smaller bust like me crossing it helps kind of create that illusion or just like a more flattering look but let me show y'all other ways you can tie this top here's what that looks like definitely cute too if you just cross it if you just tie it once this is similar to crossing it and then tying it at your neck but actually i think i like this a lot better because of the fact that it's not choking me but it's still gonna pull and lift so that's that for that top. But I have one last item to share with y'all and it is this cute freaking three piece bathing suit set. It comes with the top, the bot, the top, the bottom, the top, the bottom. And it comes with a little sarong thing to tie at this side. Y'all already know. I had to get a bathing suit. One, summer is coming up. I'm trying to get my body ready for summer. Also, Shein literally has such cute styles of bathing suits and they're so, so affordable. Here's the pattern. It's kind of marble and I got the black and white one. I think I got a small and it fits really well. I was shocked of how well the top fits because it's one of those that have the underwire goes up. Here's what the bottom looks like. It's just your average bikini bottom it's not a thong or anything you can make it high waist obviously if you just bring it up a little bit here's what that looks like i think it's so cute 
Okay, the finishing touch. It comes with a sarong, however, y'all see how small this sarong is? Like, you can't even fit a booty cheek behind this thing. But it's really just for looks. It's not really meant as a cover-up. It's just like an extra detail to the swimsuit. What I did is I set it kind of lower than the bathing suit bottom. So you kind of have that extra effect, if that makes sense. So it's just like something small, cute to wrap around for style. Obviously it does not cover the back. And y'all will probably see this on the gram because it's too cute not to post. But I'm just waiting for the right moment the right vacation. I really recommend this. If you were scared to get this bathing suit or bathing suits like this because you may have a smaller bust, don't be, just get it. I promise you, it is gonna fit so good. Yeah, that pretty much concludes this haul, y'all. I hope y'all really enjoyed it. I think I'm gonna start doing more raw live hauls rather than side by side because I kinda like talking to y'all and just sharing my opinions on the spot because I feel like I can give you a better description and feel of everything when I actually have the clothes on and I'm talking to y'all at the same time. But if y'all like hauls like this, definitely give this video a thumbs up. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already so you don't miss out on future content. Yeah, but definitely don't forget to use my promo code to save y'all some money on your purchases. Yeah, that's a wrap. So I will catch y'all in my next video. Bye y'all.